What is up YouTube, Lazy Lemmy here, and welcome to my new series here on the channel. Uh, playing some old school RuneScape, and it's not just any old account, it is a one chunk man. Basically, we're going to be playing the game but confining ourselves to a chunk until we complete all the tasks that involve in that chunk. For anyone who doesn't know what a chunk is or hasn't seen this, I will explain this here in a little bit, and it'll make a lot of sense. Um, however, this isn't just a standard chunk man where we're just picking a chunk and jumping in. We got some quests to complete to get this going. We got to get rune mysteries complete before we can get this started. We also need to get a little bit of mining done in this form of some rune essence to get a little bit of rune work crafting XP. If anyone hasn't gotten where our chunk is yet, for anyone not familiar with the game, it'll become apparent very soon. Uh, we're going to craft these up. I had to do two inventories of these to uh, make this possible and get me the rune crafting XP needed for what is coming next. Next, we got a little bit of a mini quest in the form of Enter the Abyss, which is going to jump us up a ton of runecrafting XP. Um, you may think, why didn't I come do this first? It's because we're going to need a bit more than just this itself. Uh, I will be getting rid of the pouch and whatnot after this quest. We'll only be taking in our starting items um, that we started the, the game with off the tutorial island. We will need those for what we're doing. Um, so we're going to drop this, keep it moving. And if you haven't guessed it yet, we are headed over to Temple of the Eye. Going to get this done. Um, this is a pretty huge thing. Um, if you haven't figured it out yet, we're going to be starting in the Wizard Tower Chuck um, with Guardians of the Rift Unlocked, which gives us a bank as well as a lot more to grind than just starting the Wizard Chuck. Um, we have quite a bit of Guardians of the Rift to do, um, as well as drops to get from it, and a lot higher attack and defense level on its way, which we'll go over here very soon. But before we start taking care of that, we have to finish up this quest. <clears throat> which again, is going to give us another pouch and whatnot, which we're going to get rid of. Uh, we're going to take care of our inventory before we jump into anything else. Make sure we kind of get this sorted. I'm going to drop anything that this quest gave us. Um, we're actually going to have a little bit less GP because we spent it on things like the chisel, um, which I am going to keep. Um, there actually is one in here, but I'm just going to keep the one we have. It doesn't matter. You can get one off the ground in there. Uh, it'll save time just picking that up, but we got to drop the talesman. Um, and that should be all we really need to drop. We'll keep our pickaxe, keep our gold bucket, and like I said, the chisel. And uh, we'll drop this and uh, hop worlds, and we will be be all set. This is really what we're starting this with, and let's get over and start going over these tasks, and then we'll talk about our chunk borders and, and kind of go from there. First up, we have our skilling tasks. They're quite simple. Um, we have to cook a chicken, which is really easy to do with one cooking. We need to burn and woodcut an oak log, which is also very easy, and we need 27 room crafting which we just did. Um, really that simple. There is a possible requirement that we will get stuck here till 85 rune crafting. Um, if I happen to hit 56 crafting first, there's a requirement to combine all the pouches together. If you have 56 rune craft or 56 crafting and 85 rune crafting, you have to do that. I'm not going to count the crafting XP here as primary XP though. Um, so that's not going to be a requirement unless I passively hit that first, which when we get into these next drops that I might need is very possible to happen. And this is our best tasks. Um, the best in slot we can possibly get would be a dragon spear for a weapon, which is from Guardians of the Rift. Intricate pouches can drop it. It's like I think a 1 in 25 chance for a pouch and a 1 in 44 that in that pouch is the D spear as well as this D med helm. The dragon med helm is the same. So very, very rare that I'm going to pull both of those. Um, meaning if I'm just doing Guardians of the Rift and happen to hit 56 crafting first, I'm stuck here till at least 85 cra uh, rune crafting, um, depending on how the drops go from there. Uh, then we get into the Mithril Chain body, which is... Uh, you know, from the lesser demon shouldn't be too bad. I think it's like a 1128. Leather boots, which we can grab off the table in the wizard tower. Mythical square shield, also from the lesser demon. Uh, and then these next three are all from the wizards. The blues are rope, the wizard hat, and the staff should all be pretty easy to obtain. Based off those drops, we're gonna need 60 attack to wield the dragon weapon, 60 defense to wield the dragon armor. These are the two things I was saying is much harder than if we were just to do wizard tower without the guardians of the rift unlocked. We'd only need like 40, I think, attack and like 20 defense or something. Um, we also need 66 magic to cast vulnerability, which is because we will get up the soul runes to process. Um, this is just a standard junk, so we don't have to do the highest form necessarily, but we have to have to basically use those runes and then we're gonna also be doing slay tasks on this where i'm going to be slaying every single monster at least once so we have to take down one chicken wizard and lesser demon which will be all part of this anyways and will come very naturally 
The last category of tasks we'll be doing on this account are quest tasks, and I think breaking up New Year's 4 tasks makes the most sense, um, but realistically, we don't have any quests we can do. We've completed the two kind of coming in and the one mini quest, but we have Imp Catcher. We can do this, really start the quest. Um, we can't get the beads. We don't have imps. Um, there's no way for us to complete this, but as soon as we get an imps, this will be a task that will, or a quest we'll have to complete. All right, now that we covered our tasks, we're kind of looking at our junk border here, which is going to be symbolized by this big red line and this big gray area. We're not going to see very much of it because it's across this long bridge. Most chunks would have to roll any adjacent chunks that you can physically walk to. We're going to be playing with a slightly different rule set on rolling in the sense of we can teleport. Um, we're going to have infinite runes, realistically. We can make all the runes. We may not be able to force make them, but we can get them from pouches and stuff. Uh, or from poles from the rift, I should say. Um, we're going to be able to get, get things. So I'm going to be able to teleport to Lumbridge, Farak, Falador, and Camelot. Um, as well as roll the adjacent rollable chunks. Um, so we're going to be starting out with all these when it comes to our first roll. And where we end up going next after we complete all these tasks. Uh, again, not really sure how that's going to long that's going to take. That could definitely take a little bit to get this task list done, uh, especially if we hit that crafting grind, or if we hit that crafting level for the rune crafting grind, or go very dry on the items we need. Um, but really, that's it. We can get back to this chunk because of the minigame teleport. So it's fair game. We're gonna we're gonna roll with it and see how that that plays out. I want to just kind of go over our starting levels, kind of where we're at um, after doing those quests. Um, just kind of give you a quick rundown. We got our 27 rune crafting, you know, four mining, a couple of different levels. Um, kind of thrown in there. Yeah, we're really gonna get to our first Guardians of the Rift game and see kind of how this goes and how slow it's gonna be with one mining, because it's gonna be rough. All right, and there's 29 Runecrafting, our first game of Guardians of the Rift also complete, which is our first task on the account complete. And there's 30 Runecrafting already. This is going well. And we got a couple crafting levels coming in. We are we got five crafting. There's six crafting. Kind of doing this little strap booster crafting in between games. Uh, could be hurtful in the long run, but there's a very high chance I'm going to hit 56 crafting anyway. So I might as well work on it and get as high of a crafting as possible. This is really as fast as you can chain crafting in this chunk just by doing this. But there's seven crafting and 32 rune crafting. We will take it. This is going really, really well so far. All right, we're coming in with 10 mining already, followed by 10 crafting very quickly. 35 rune crafting, we're ready for chaos rune. Uh, 36 rune crafting, and we are coming up on 13 crafting. And here's the first chaos runes on the account. Uh, this is going to be sweet. Let's make a crap ton of these. And 15 mining, these levels are coming so quickly. And this is what this account is about. The pulls. I should say the beginning of this account. These mean everything. We're looking for intricate pouches. We do love Abyssal Pearls. Um, any runes are great. Really the only thing we don't want is Talesmans, which we're getting a ton of. Oh, this uh, it's early diary I think is rare. There's our first pouch. Um, that is awesome to have. Get those back. Uh, and the second pouch. Awesome. Those are going to be very, very useful really quickly, actually. Um, they're going to allow us to put rune essence in them while we're doing the minigame and make quite a bit of progress. Um, and again, having these abyssal pearls will actually allow us to repair um, our pouches shortly when we, when we need to. Uh, but our rune stacks are starting to grow, and we're going to continue to grow these as much as we can. And what I was just talking about with repairing the pouches does cost a one-time fee of 25 pearls, so we're going to quickly just unlock that. So whenever we're in the middle of the minigame and need to repair a uh, pouch with the pearls, we can. So, it sucks, but it's worth it. Alright, it is time to get our first combat achievement and take on this mighty beast. The chicken is going down. Uh, I think we're going to focus on attack here off the bat. Get a couple levels on attack before we worry about getting our strength up. But once we take this down, that'll be our first combat task. Second task on the chunk done. Um, nothing, no drops from this we're looking for or anything. But uh, it'll be nice to, uh, to have this thing slain. Two prayer finally. That is pretty nice. We're going to get a lot of prayer levels to strength all right and we're gonna get our chicken cooked or we're gonna burn it there we go chicken cooked cooking level two achieved 
and we got a nice little total level going on, which is awesome. We'll take it. Gonna keep cooking chicken, banking it. We're gonna need it for all the wizard slaying we're gonna be doing later. And there's a quick five cooking done and achieved. And here's the easiest chunk goal for our abyss is going to be these leather boots. All we have to do is grab them. Oh, if we could grab them here and chuck these suckers on, that is complete. Alright, we gotta get our quest screen complete. Our quest task is very easy. We just gotta start the M-Catcher. Once this is started, we are golden. Run through the dialogue and that's all I can do. I can't do any more of this. We don't have um, really anything else that can be done in this. We got M-Catcher and uh, ah, we gotta get the beads. Alright, and that's two wood cutting. Five wood cutting. So basically, I've been hopping worlds every single tree, as there's only two trees on this, and it's one tree and one oak tree. So really just hopping worlds and, and cutting trees as much as possible. All right, there's our first inventory of logs. Time to get to burn in. We gotta get 15 to fire making as well to be able to burn these logs, or the oak logs. So let's start burning. Two fire making. And there's five fire making. 10 wood cutting. This is going pretty quick. These world hops suck, but it's moving. And there's 10 fire making to match. This is going really quickly. And that's 15 wood cutting. All right, we're getting our oak logs here. Coming up on being able to burn these. We have 15 wood cutting, so we are we are right there. Just need to uh to get some logs here. Once we get these, we'll be in good shape if this log would ever cut. This is the slowest log of all time. Come on, I know we got a bronze axe. There we go. And we will light that on fire. And voila, we have burned and cut the oak log. And there's 38 rune crafting. 15 crafting coming in. We love it. Love to see the crafting XP. And there's 40 rune crafting. Absolutely massive. We're flying through these levels. 42 rune crafting is here. And that's three prayer. Five strength coming in. And our first HP level. We'll take it. Eat cooking. Love the chicken. And that's four prayer. Gonna bury bones forever. Five attack coming in as well as seven combat. That's going to be ten cooking coming in here. Yeah, we'll take it. All right, our first random coming in. Of course, we're gonna take the mystery box. We don't need the GP. Looking for that myth skimmy is what we're looking for. And steel plate body. Not bad. That's gonna be our this for a while. We're not really going to be able to use it though because we're going to be fighting mainly wizard. Alright, that's going to be 7 attack as well as we got the bones for 5 prayer. 16 fire making coming. And that's 10 attack as well as 9 combat. We are leveling up in the world. 7 prayer. 15 cooking coming in. 13 HP uh, as well as 10 combat. 10 strength or getting strong and just like that 20 cooking is a rolling in we'll take it 13 strength which is also giving us now a max hit of three while using the combat style strength which is uh pretty amazing I will not complain about that in the slightest. And there's the first wizard kill. Sorry, I didn't catch most of it there. Um, I flinched it around the corner and it worked great. Uh, it was a little slow. We also got our staff, which is also a abyss. Two tasks now complete. We are one step closer to getting this chunk done and over with and moving on and rolling our second chunk. Alright, so the strat to kill the wizard is actually pretty simple. I figured I'd show you guys how to run this wall, wait till the HP bar goes away, and you run around the wall smacking it. 
Um, this weapon seems to be doing a little better. The staff might be better, but got to do a little testing with them, um, seeing if smacking them with the staff is. But only a little bit of just train on chickens so we can fight these things better, anyways. But um, this works pretty well, to be honest with you. Just bounce around the wall. It's not a bad thing at all, in my opinion. But there it is. That simple. And shortly after, Blue Wizard Top is dropped, which is a bis. We'll take it. And that's 14 strength as well as 200 total level. Sweet. And the wizard hat is dropped. And that is another bis. Hell yeah. Perfect. All right, so we're going to be leveling up our magic on the Lesser Demon, as they have a very big negative magic defense. So it allows us to hit um, really accurately um, with our runes here, and not just waste our runes. Um, as you can see, we, we hit pretty accurately just in general here. Um, not a lot of zeros, um, a lot of you know ones, twos kind of thing as we take this thing down, because it's very accurate, and that's the most we can hit with this spell anyway. But quickly, we are going to reach level two magic and continue on with this. This is really what we're what we're looking to do all the way up until you know sixty six magic that we need. And as level five magic, where we can do water spells, uh, which is going to increase our XP. Fifteen HP. And here we go, getting our final hit on the Lesser Demon, hoping not to see any good loot, because we can't telegrab yet. Great. That's a goal. And that's nine magic, giving us earth spells, which we'll be using a lot. Um, don't forget to be using a lot of water and earth casts, as we're going to want to save our fire runes. Speaking of fire runes, there we are. Fire cast is unlocked. Fire strike, I should say. Um, but we're going to want these for high elks and anything in the future we might need fire runes for in case we don't get a staff anytime soon that has elemental there is 16 hp and 15 magic 17 magic give it us wind bolt is pretty awesome um, definitely going to be using that um, quite often going to be getting a lot of chaos runes over time and we're going to be using chaos runes probably the most and there's a field bad myth square shield when we can't grab it yet and there's 20 magic, as well as 15 combat. 25 crafting coming in. Followed by 25 mining. It is a slow grind, but we are getting up there. And there's 50 rune crafting, which is going to give us the next pouch, which is awesome. Um, this grind's actually not going too bad. 100k XP in, and, uh, you know, we're moving still. It's definitely not a bad thing. Having those extra pouches are going to be great. All right, so we got 26 pulls coming up. I'm super excited for this. Let's see what we can get out of here. Hopefully something really, really good. 26, that's all we can do. Can't quite do 37. I don't have enough chaotic. Runes are great. We love runes. We love to see runes. I will go with runes. We're really looking for intricate pouches, though. That is the most important. Um... Talismans are probably the biggest thing that we don't want to see. Um, so hopefully we do not get many of those. These pulls go so quick. I wish I had the urge to wait. Oh, Elemental Talisman. That's cool. We'll take that. It's the one Talisman we like. And Bristle Pearls are great as well. Again, all these runes are going to be awesome because we're going to need a high mage level. Um, and it's going to be so nice to have a bunch of extra. Um, preferably... Probably like death and bloods would be really, really nice. Um, probably our best thing we could possibly get. Oh, and there's our first intricate pouch. That's awesome. Uh, that's going to uh, hopefully be a D spear. Okay, we'll take it. Astral runes. I think this is our first ones. All right, so the plan's going to be to just alk till we're at least 33 magic, I think. Um, it's going to make it so when we're getting kills, at least we don't... Uh, we don't get another drop that we can't get, because that was painful to see see one of our drops that we need. So I'm just going to keep alking this, may end up alking our blood rooms in the future. And that's 25 magic rolling in. And there's 30 magic, as well as 20 combat and 250 total. 
And there's 33 ma magic, which gets us our telegrab. That's what we're looking for. Gotta be able to get some loot. 53 rune crafting. And that's 30 crafting. All right, we have another 20 pulls for the rift here. Let's see if we can get any more pouches. Again, we're looking for pouches mainly. Um, that's what we need. Everything we need from them. The soul runes as well as the med helm and the D spear. But I'll take runes as long as it's not talismans. I'm pretty happy with whatever we get. I won't complain. You know, body runes kind of sink, but it is what it is. Um, it would be really, really nice. The pouches are pearls are great. Uh, the the uh, pouches are only a one in twenty five for me, so we should get them pretty easily. Um, and that stinks. Definitely stinks. Seventy one and only one pouch. Should I have almost three by now. And I was just informed that my buddy, my real life friend actually, um, he started a chunk man as well, and Drainer is on the chunk border here. Look at that, Mr. Chunk of Ham. Hello, sir. Just wanted to quickly come over here, give him a little little shout out, say what's up to the mans. Uh, maybe one day we'll be able to be in the same chunk together, hopefully roll some bosses or something together and be able to do some, uh, some content at the same time. Would be really, really sweet. Um, <clears throat> I don't think he, he sees us here. Oh, look at that. The count. We'll take that. Not going to complain about the count. Uh, come on, count. Let's go. Oh, it's for him. I did not even notice. Awkward. On that note, we're back to the lesser demon with our telegrab, ready to get some loot. It's definitely what we're going for. Big loot drops. We're looking to grab everything we need from it as early as possible. All right, and a steel axe, absolutely huge. That is our best uh, best axe we're gonna have for a while now. Um, not that we need it quite yet, but it's pretty sweet. I will take it, as well as 10 prayer, absolutely huge. And we got a random event for the evil twin. Let's see what we can get. What does Molly have in store for us? Hopefully, uh, I mean, I think you generally get gems, so hopefully some good gems. Maybe something we can actually craft. Uncuts. Oh, look at that, uncuts. Oh, and there's 20 HP and 23 combat. I'll take it. And there is 35 magic, giving us firebolt, which is nice, but again, really not using fire runes for combat reasons. I don't think it's worth it. And there is our first grimy herb on the account. First herb, gentle, awesome. And the first actual gem drop, other than from randoms, I will absolutely take any gems the game wants to give. Alright, we're back to Water Bolt as we are getting really low on Earth Runes. We're going to be bouncing between the two of these, I think, and, and using them up for this, really. Get some massive greens with that 40 magic. Absolutely nuts. This is going by so much faster than I thought it would. Um, and the fact that we have so many runes to do this is awesome. It, if I knew Guardians of the Earth was so good, I would start every Iron Man mode out on... You know, Guardians of the Rift for a while. It's really good. And there is the Steel Skimmy, which is awesome. It's our best until the D Spear, realistically. Uh, we will be using that until 60 attack and 60 defense, unless we're somehow blessed with a mystery box. But that has never happened to me before, so we'll take it. 25 HP. Pretty huge. Steel Full Helm is currently our bis as well. It's not our bis in the chunk, but it's, you know, our bis as, as of now, even though we're not really going to wear metal armor against wizards, so doesn't matter. And there is 15 prayer. Okay, so gold ore. It's an interesting drop. Uh, we can't do anything with it because we can't smelt it, but we will have super heat, so we will at some point. And there's the rune med, which is our now new bis, but we're going to have to get a dragon med in this chunk. And again, not going to be using metal armor on wizards, so it's kind of useless. A little bit of GP, though. And there's 16 prayer, as well as 30 combat coming in. All right, our first XP lamp on the account. And for anyone who hasn't guessed where it's going, it's going right into agility. We'd love to be able to get Drainer unlocked and be able to do that course at 10 agility. All right, and there we are, the Myth Square Shield once again. We got this drop once before, but couldn't grab it. So here is us actually grabbing it. That is our best in slot shield slot for this chunk. We'll take it. We'll be leaving this chunk looking like an absolute unit. 
We are slaying these lesser demons like it's nothing. And just like that, 45 magic rolling in. Teleport came out unlocked. That's our last teleport out of this chunk when we get the chunk rolls. So pretty exciting. However, we are getting really low on runes. So I'm not sure how much longer we'll be getting our magic level up. We're going to have to go back to Guardians of the Rift soon. All right, so we're going to test out our magic defense on these wizards now that we have some magic levels. For anyone who doesn't know, magic... Defense is 70% of your magic level, only 30% of your defense level. So we should have some defense and be able to take these things head on a little bit. Plus, we got the new skimmy and 15 strength coming in. It's insane. Um, this is going a lot better than before. We're definitely going to want to get this higher before we take these down. Um, we still have gear we need anyways. Um, however, guys, this is the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy this, please take a second to smack the like button. I really do appreciate it. These videos are done a little differently than I normally do them, and the editing is definitely a little odd for me still. Um, however, if you guys did enjoy it, definitely take a second to smack the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And as always, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!